Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard. The ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard is suitable for all of the latest AMD Ryzen Threadripper uh, 3000 series and comes packed with a ton of features, including the uh, PCIe 4 Gen 4x4, giving you a total bandwidth of uh, 64 gigabits per second. It also has the uh, 2.5 gigabit LAN and also supports Wi-Fi 6. It has all the usual ASRock features, including Super Alloy, but this time it has the uh, 90 amps Dr. Mouse as well as your usual 16 power phases. It comes with premium capacitors, uh, a two ounce copper, uh, eight layer PCB, and uh, high quality capacitors. This motherboard supports quad channel memory of up to DDR4 4666 uh, OC. And it comes with three PCIe 4 times 16 slots and one PCIe 4 one time slot. And with that said, it can support three-way SLI or the uh, three-way uh, AMD Crossfire X. Other features include the uh, Purity Sound, 7.1 HD audio, and of course, support for your Polychrome RGB. And to test this motherboard, we'll be using the AMD third generation Ryzen Threadripper CPU, the uh, 3960X. This processor is based on a seven nanometer FinFET process, and it comes with a massive 24 cores and 48 threads, operating on a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz with a boost speed of 4.5 gigahertz. It also comes with 12 megabytes of L2 cache and a massive uh, 128 megabytes of L3 cache. The uh, DDP is 280 watts, so you probably need a massive uh, power supply, uh, ideally 850 watts or higher. And with that said, I can't wait to put this processor into this motherboard and see how it performs. It should blow everything out of the water. In fact, it'll probably be one of the fastest systems I've actually tested to date. So without further ado, let's do a quick unboxing, build a test rig, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. So here we have the uh, ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard. Let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we'll start off with the uh, accessories box and uh, let's see what we have inside. There's a, a pair of SATA cables and a couple of uh, M.2 screws. There's also uh, an SLI bridge for your NVIDIA graphics card. There's the uh, Wi-Fi base and antenna. And uh, check it out. This is the uh, screw that you need. It's the uh, Torx uh, screwdriver that you need for uh, unlocking uh, the uh, uh, heatsink of your chipset fans. All right. You also have uh, the software setup guide with the uh, driver disc. And of course, the usual ASRock uh, postcard. And then we have a very nice uh, quick installation guide. Uh, lots of uh, pages. All right, interestingly, we also have a Hyper Quad M.2 card. Let's have a look. All right, ah, it's got a built-in fan and a six pin PCIe power. And inside this uh, expansion card, you can actually fit uh, up to four M.2 SSDs and uh, it takes up one uh, PCIe 16 slot. Okay, interesting. So this is your accessories box. And now let's have a look at the motherboard. All right, so we have the motherboard right here. This is the ASRock TRX40 uh, Tai Chi motherboard. Um, we'll start off with the, uh, the socket right here. This is the STRX4 socket, and uh, it's different from the uh, first generation uh, Threadripper um, motherboards. All right, as you can see, um, it's got the screw mounts here. Again, it uses the uh, Torx uh, screwdriver, and that's included with the uh, processor when you buy it. All right, very large, yep. Okay, so next we move on to the uh, DDR4 DIMM slots. We have um, two sets of four slots, uh, giving you quad channel and supports memory of up to DDR4 4666OC. 
You also have the M.2 slots here, and uh, there's two of them there. One underneath the uh, chipset cooler, and also one right there. Next, we move on to the uh, PCIe 16 slots. We have three of them there, and it can support up to a three-way SLI for NVIDIA graphics cards, or the uh, three-way Crossfire for AMD graphics cards. And, uh, you also have one PCIe one-time slot, and uh, check out the heatsink and fan for the chipset. It has this nice Tai Chi uh, themed with the fan and also the, uh, the logo as well, very nice. Interestingly, we also have the uh, power on and power off buttons right here and with the uh, diagnostic LED. I like that, especially when uh, if you're doing some overclocking or actually building a test system, easy accessible uh, power on and power off buttons. For uh, storage expansion, you have uh, six uh, SATA slots right here. That's a USB 3. And then your power uh, connectors right here. It's the ATX 24 pin. Uh, this motherboard also has uh, two 8 pin power slots right here and here. Um, for our tests, I think you only need one. However, if you're running SLI or a Crossfire, uh, I suggest you put uh, the 8 pin for both connectors right there. All right, and over here we have the heatsink and fan for your MOSFET and VRMs. Uh, very large, um, but it has the twin fans for cooling those. And it is quite high in terms of height, so you might need to check out your uh, cooler, make sure that it fits um, on top of your uh, processor. All right, move on on to the I.O. On this side we have the uh, Wi-Fi connectors. And there's a clear CMOS button here. Next, we have a USB 3.2. Uh, there's a gigabit LAN. Uh, also a PS2 keyboard and mouse. Type C for your USB 3.2. And there's also a 2.5 gigabit LAN right here. And your array of audio connectors. So this motherboard is very nice. It is very heavy. You also have a backplate at the back to uh, help support the motherboard. It has this nice Tai Chi logo as well, themed right there. So we'll be building a test rig with this motherboard along with the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3960X and uh, see how it performs. So we'll see you in a bit. entry-level Ryzen Threadripper 3960X processor with its 24 cores and 48 threads is already quite a beast and when you pair it with the ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard it produces some stunning results in all of our benchmarks. The results really speak for themselves. We got an excellent PC Mark score of 7045 and a PC Mark 9 score of 8152 which is the highest I've seen so far and in Blender, it took only 8 minutes and 15 seconds to completely render the uh, Splash 279 screen. Cinebench score was a whopping 5668, and it completed our Hyper PI tests in 13 minutes and 6.9 seconds. For Port Royal, we got a pretty decent score of uh, 6633, with a DLSS score of 44.65 frames per second. And in Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got excellent scores of 11,589 and 23,985 respectively. The ASRock TRX Tai Chi motherboard comes absolutely packed with some great features. That's just too many to mention. You can check out the full list by the specification pages in our review. 
I just have to mention briefly, one of the most appealing features of this motherboard is the support for the latest PCIe 4 standard. For me, this is a real deal clincher. The PCIe 4x16 slots, as well as the M.2 Gen 4x4 slots for your SSDs, can be found on all of the TRX40 motherboards, including all of the X570 motherboards for the AM4 processors. If you're one of those lucky enthusiasts who's looking to buy an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3000 series processor, then the ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard is the perfect match. To be honest, there's no better motherboard to pair it with. It's packed with some great features and offers excellent performance at a price that's more than justified. You can buy the uh, ASRock TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard on Amazon for around $599. At this price, it's a real heavy investment, but I think it's totally worth it. You can check out the full review on our website at uh, funkygit.com. have it that was the TRX40 Tai Chi motherboard from ASRock featuring AMD's latest chipset and uh, supporting all of the AMD third generation Ryzen Threadripper CPUs. It offers an amazing performance with a ton of features and is definitely one of the fastest uh, motherboard that we've seen to date. Hope you enjoyed this video give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah don't forget hit the subscribe button for more. Until our next video, this is Winston for FunkyGit.com.